Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how I make this yummy and delicious air furry roll. This is so good. So let's get started. First I'll be using some red bell peppers, habanero and onions. And I cut them into bite sizes and then put them in the blender for blending. But right now I'm going to just um, spice up my goat meat, tripe and beef with some bouillon cubes, some onions and some salt and I let this cook until tender but first I do not add water in this so as this is cooking I'm going ahead to clean my stockfish so what I did was just to place this in some hot water then rinse off all the dirt and then cook this with some salt in it and voila it's good to go the next thing I'll be doing is to check my beef as we can see the beef already has released its own juices so that's good and it also prevents us from adding too much water into this mix so this is very just makes the beef more flavorful and then I go on ahead to add some water after I just stir this together and then I cook until it's really tender then next you know I'll cut up um, bell peppers I'm just gonna ground them up a little bit and not to find particles I'm gonna ground them coarsely and that's how you want it to be you want it to be very coarse next I'll heat up a pot and place some palm oil into this when it's thoroughly heated I go on to add my pepper mix into this then I stir this just so that it's fully incorporated into oil so I just stir this together and, and allow it to fry for about 5 or 7 to 12 minutes. Then next is our vegetable that we're using. So shout out to Sister Jimoke for this um, trick. She actually told me about frozen collard greens. And you know collard greens are really hard to cook. So she was like if I buy the frozen ones and soak them in water and also add some fresh kale, they'll be very, very useful. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, what do you guys use for your FRO? You can let me know in the comment section below so I can have other ideas for FRO as well. So this is, I'm just showing you the already cooked fish and meat. So next I just go on to check my peppers. I see that they are slightly fried so that's good. Then I go on to add bullion, um, some crayfish <laughs> and then add some stock to it. I go on to mix all this together and just incorporate all the crayfish and broth together and then next I add bouillon cubes and salt you really don't want to add too many spices or ingredients to this recipe so that you don't overpower the whole food and it becomes something totally different from what you want and I also um, taste to see if it's the desired taste and if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for please hit that subscribe button thank you then I add the stockfish and the beef with everything in there there's shaki, there's goat meat, there's um, beef. That's all there is, <laughs> guys. So this is so good. It looks so, so amazing. My gosh, I love food so much. Then I allow this to simmer for like two to three minutes. I don't want to overcook this. And then can you just see that? At this point, there, I was about to just boil my rice because that man was hungry. I go on to add the collard greens and then the kale as well and then stir it in together just look at that soup it is so good it looks so good and it's not even yet totally completely done but yeah it's so good so I just uh, add more kale because I like vegetables in my food and it's a it's a vegetable meal as well so duh okay so I just allow this to cook for about two minutes you don't want to overcook vegetables if not you know you're taking off the you're taking away the nutrients and just look at that soup it is so yummy and so good please let me know if you um try this recipe and if you have any questions that you that you want answered please you can put them in the comment section below and i'll be sure to answer you please subscribe again to my channel you can hit the notification bell and also give me a thumbs up if you like this video Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you and I will see you on in my next video. Till then, love and light.